Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Deadly Doodles by Steve Jackson Games. Seth Johnson lent me a, com a copy, and we've had a lot of fun with it. This, uh, as I said, is a draw and draw, because you're going to be flipping over a number of tile cards, all of which have different sort of uh, pathing that you're going to draw on, on, your, on your board. And then you have a dungeon you are going to make your path through. It's a dry erase, so you only need four of these, and they work really well, and so you're not using pencils and paper. Um, and basically, as you are getting uh, uh, paths, you are entering the dungeon and working your way around. You must uh, use each one as you are making your way. Um, what you're going to be doing is if you go through these treasures, or bags of loot, they're worth points. If you go through the bag of loot and the dragon, they're worth double points. Axes are worth a point. If you go through a lettered axe, like F axe, with a lettered monster, F monsters, you get even more points. If you just go through monsters, you get negative points, uh, and it's that kind of thing. There are a couple other bonus points of ways to, to score. The trick here is you don't know what paths are gonna appear on each flop, and you have to use them all. So you can't just go some preferred route, you're gonna have to go and sometimes go through things you don't want to, or plan ahead and maybe go through a monster you think you're gonna get to the ax and then find out you don't really get the cards you need to get there. That's sort of the game. There are also these trap cards where everyone will put traps on the map, and then essentially at the end of the game, everyone reveals those coordinates and that impacts other players and gives them negative points. So that's like the main and only player interaction is putting traps on your boards and, and hurting people at the end of the game. Um, simple rules, double-sided, works well. A little confusing on like when, what paths are allowed or not. Could have used another diagram, um, but we got through it. Uh, youngest struggled a little bit with it, but again, by the end, got it. And uh, it's just a nice little game. Like it's, it's a fun, quick, uh, draw and draw, and uh, I enjoyed it. So uh, if you're looking for something to play with the family, uh, it's a little different and has sort of a fantasy theme like Steve Jackson knows how to do uh, and really cute art, I uh, definitely can recommend Deadly Doodles. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.